Hey there, Mission Control. All right, well, the next phase here is we actually have to repair lane three. So the first thing you have to do is backfill this entire area here with dirt. Now, I had a little pile out, oops, there we go. A little pile right there that I gotta use, but that's not gonna be enough. So I'm also gonna be digging out all the dirt that collapsed in here and moving that over uh, as I get all these uh, walls repaired. So, got the fish out. I'll be pulling the tarp all the way back right to here. This is the last piece that actually has damage. So we'll pull that liner all the way back out and uh, repair the walls, get these rocks out of here. Fix everything, make it all nice and pretty. So quite a bit of work. Uh, we'll see how far I can get today. Let's get started. Okay, well, I got my pile of dirt that I had outside. You can see it ain't there no more. And then that's about as far as I got. So maybe about half of it, a little bit less than half. Uh, so what I got to do now, I got dirt there I need to get. And then there's a whole bunch of dirt in here that I got to dig out so I can pull this all back. So I'm going to jump in there. I'm going to start digging that all out. And it looks like I am going to have to get some fill dirt from outside, uh, go dig a hole somewhere or something. Anyway, I'm going to keep digging on this. Welcome to the trench of destiny. My destiny is to clean that all out. So here you can see what's left off, all that powder. I got to dig that all out and be very careful not to puncture the pond liner. So one shovel full at a time, get that out, just enough to get the pond liner pulled out of there. And we're just moving all that dirt right over here, trying to fill this all in. So I got that all cleaned out. You can see I got this ledge has to be rebuilt here, like that. This one has to get rebuilt a little bit as well. Making progress. Have you ever dug out a whole bunch of dirt while listening to the Hay song? You know, the one that goes, dun, da da, da 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 da. You know, and you're at the hockey game and you go, hey! It makes it a lot more enjoyable. You can't hear it, but I can. Oh, that's where I got to repair up to. Check this out. Another good one. Two good collapse spots. Start digging them out and repair them. Okay, well, I got everything cleaned out. That's good news. The bad news is that the angle that the slope, the, the slopping off, I guess, has occurred. It's kind of weird, and it's going to be hard to reinforce it. So I'm going to take a few minutes here and pontificate life and see what I can do. All right, so I thought about this a little bit, and I actually don't think I need to reinforce the areas that sloughed in. The reason for that is only one reason, and that's because of the new railroad tie system, the cross members. So they actually go quite a ways out. Um, they're five feet total. This is two feet here, so you get about a foot and a half on each side. Um, and before, we didn't have that, so things were sloughing in, and that was a problem. With the new cross members plus the kick plates, I think we're going to be fine. So what I'm going to do, oh, and also, I thought we were going to be low on pond liner. Um, I didn't, I, I totally forgot that a lot of pond liner got sucked in uh, to the tank when the cave-in happened. So uh, I have a lot more pond liner than I, I, I remembered. Um, I haven't lost any, I didn't gain any. I just forgot that I had all that dirt down there and that sucked a bunch of pond liner in. So we can actually pull it up over quite a ways 
and with the railroad ties here, I think we're going to be fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift gears and I'm going to start working on uh, the railroad tie dig outs and then actually start cutting some ties, get them all leveled and then I'm going to slowly start working my way backwards here and putting ties up there and just working this way and just seeing how things go. And, it, and if it does end up being a problem, I'll just fix it when I get to it. Uh, but I don't have a good solution other than putting a steep angle in to reinforce the wall, um, which is what we had to do over on lane one where it was really bad. But these aren't that bad compared to what we had to do over there. So I'm gonna get to work digging those things out and put some railroad ties down. Almost there. So I'm pulling out the string so I can set the line, the height. Well, I set the height of the line and then I measure from the line down to set the depth of each of the cross members. That way they're all at the same level. That's pretty level for our first shot. This is totally light. Alright, it's got to be six and a half inches from line to the top, and it's at five and a half, so it's got to go down another inch, and that side's high as well. Well, Josh, you were wondering how I was going to do it by myself, or how come I just don't do it by myself. I guess this is why. And it was nice having you here, bro. One of one, two, three, four, done. Three more to go. They're not getting any lighter. Sadly, nothing is getting lighter. Little high here, inch cut. Little high on there. One in doubt. Just beat on it real hard. Woo! Two more to go. Dos. Mas. All right. Well, the good news is that. Uh, the side, everything all worked out really nicely, so I got the uh, cross members in. Let me show you. So not bad as far as the day's worth of work goes. And I got the backlog filled in here. So now it's time to put the shoveling back up. <laughs> 